Especially tow truck drivers will never forget the tragedy surrounding Alan Rose. He got caught in a cable and was dragged a mile and a half to his death in 2011. The driver of the SUV, Detra Ferries, is serving a 20 year sentence for that crime and this week lost her appeal for a new trial. The incident brought new legislation to Colorado. And tonight, KRDO News Channel 13 Scott Harrison is asking if the law is making a difference. He joins us from the intersection of Platte and Babcock Road on the east side of the city. Well, this place right here is where it all ended for Alan Rose. It's now become a memorial site and a constant reminder to tow truck drivers. Jim Stevens says what happened to Alan Rose could have happened to any truck driver. Unfortunately, our job, it's a love-hate relationship. People hate to see us come, but they love to see us arrive because they're always, you know, nobody calls us for a tow on a good day. Stevens says Rose's death changed the way truck drivers think about safety, making them more alert to what's happening around them. Sometimes you show up at a job and oftentimes you find people in a time of distress or whatnot, and sometimes that makes people act in ways that they probably otherwise wouldn't. That's not all that's changed. After the death of tow truck driver Alan Rose, former Colorado Springs State Senator John Morse introduced a bill that later became law to give more protection to tow truck drivers. Basically, drivers can put a sticker on a vehicle with a warning to anyone that anyone who interferes with a tow truck driver can be charged with a crime. But are words on a sticker enough protection? Stevens says it goes a long way. I would hope so. I think anybody who was in the, in, in the city five years ago and knows about Mr. Rose, um, I think that they'll think twice about it. Now, the tow truck driver law doesn't necessarily help towing companies that don't repossess vehicles and rarely, if ever, face the situation that Alan Rose did five years ago. We're live on the east side of Colorado Springs. Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.